Hey, what's up? I'm Brett with Premier Guitar. I'm here at U.S. Music Corp. in Mundelein, Illinois, where they make Washburn guitars and Parker guitars. I'm here with Eric. Eric's going to tell us a little bit about the assembly and how this works. Well, basically, we get a, a buff guitar, finely polished guitar from the buffing department. We uh, go over that instrument to make sure it's up to quality before we start installing electronic components and hardware. And uh, this is Aaron over here, and he's going to show you the first stage is what he does here. Looks like he's about ready to put in some bridge posts. Yeah, what he's doing right now, he's going to put the bridge post bushings in there. On the tailpiece end of it, there'll be a ground wire in that lug so you don't have any bridge home when you take your hands off the string. This We use Tone Pro bridges on these guitars, Grover tuners. This particular guitar here is going to get a dime bucker in the bridge. This is for a band uh, called Cataclysm. It's for uh, their lead guitar player. And right now he's inserting the ground wire. Correct. This is a real crucial stage, too, because there's a lot of time and uh, money invested in it up to this point. So if he was to make a mistake at this stage of it, it would be pretty expensive. So it's very uh, important to handle these instruments with great care. It's important to make sure that these things are in there very flush and snug because that's going to have a lot to do with how good your guitar sounds and how well it stays in tune. Sure. It's got to be tight so energy is transferred accordingly. And then too, with these Tone Pro bridges, they lock also, which helps a lot beef up the tone. So Eric, Don's got a guitar that's a little more towards completion. Tell me about this final uh, assembly, if you will. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to get this guitar tuned up and intonated so that when uh, the player gets it, it's ready out of the box. So, uh, several things have to happen. We have to make sure that this bridge has the correct amount of relief in it. The bridge is at a certain height. Everything is at the right measurements. Electronics have to be double checked and uh, voiced, meaning that the neck pickup and the bridge pickup are at equal volume. So when you switch between the two of them, you don't have like one blaring louder than the other or something like that. Sure. And I'm noticing a set of EMGs. Are they standard in this model? This is. This is the new Washburn HM526B. This has a Zach Wild setup, which consists of an 85 in the neck, an 81 in the bridge, and a real Floyd Rose tremolo. All black and bad. All black and bad. This is an R3 nut on it. Grover 18 to 1 locking tuners. Um... Excuse me, not locking tuners, locking nut. 18 to 1 tuners, all black. 18, 18 to 1, just for people who might not know, you're talking about the ratio of the Correct. tuners. Correct. And this is also something special for Washburn. This, um, actually, this fretboard on here is a composite 24 fret um, fender scale fretboard on here. This is not like ebony or rosewood or something. This is the exact same kind of fretboard that goes on the Parker technology. Basically, it's, very, it's about the thickness of a business card. And these frets are stainless steel, and they are actually epoxied onto the fretboard. So, and because they're stainless, they're going to last forever. Correct. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Looks like you have some guitars that are finally yes, completed over here. This is uh, another one like you guys just looked at, except this is in uh, red, obviously. Get a little different spin on it. This one here, this is more for, like, your metal guys, of course. This one here, I mean... Any kind of guy who likes a Les Paul here, this is right up the alley. This is the PS9000 Gold Top. This also has Tone Pro uh, bridges on it, which all Washburn guitars do. And it has the 18 to 1 Grover tuners and uh, Buzz Beaton system also, tuning system. And what kind of pickups are it? Um, this is actually a... This is actually a Pearly Gates in the bridge and a 59 in the neck. Sure, and can we see the back side of the guitar sure. too? That's all mahogany set neck there. You got a nice little uh, heel there for all access into the 
higher frets. Yeah, I'm really digging uh, this contour. You guys do a great job with this. So yeah, you can really get too, a we, uh, we, we take a good tolerance on the back plates so they don't look sloppy. There's gaps in there and stuff like that. So everything is, is pretty tight on these guitars. And then uh, it looks like you have a Parker uh, complete. I'd love to take a look at that. Yeah, this is actually part of the Parker limited edition Four Seasons guitars. This is a pearl white uh, RFMV, which means it's a mahogany body with mahogany neck and um, all gold hardware on it. Set of JB pickups in there too. Seymour Duncan, all coil tappable. And this is a fully loaded Piazzo in the bridge. This guitar is much lighter than the one I showed you previous to this. The, the, the other one's more like a Les Paul kind of a weight. This is, I mean, this is probably seven pounds, eight pounds, the whole guitar. Sure. No, it's definitely and, and feeling actually, less than is, eight to me. Yeah, this is actually one of the heavier ones, too. Just sometimes you get a little bit more dense of a piece of wood than other. They kind of vary, but they're all about that weight. Sure. Let's check out the backside sure. of this pup. As you can see, this is all scooped way back here, so you can get way high on those frets there. Um... You have a flip-up battery box here to change your batteries. You don't have to take off the plate. This is for the Piazzo, by the way. Um, you can have all your adjustments here, too. So you can adjust your spring tension in there without having to take off the back plate or anything like that. It's kind of convenient. So the Allen wrench just inserts right through this opening. Basically, this is a, a wheel that will tighten the spring tension. Okay. And this is like a kick stop there. So if you wanted to lock this bridge home... You just yeah. Crank it up. Basically, this little portion here it does what um, the screws on a Floyd uh, claw would do, but okay. just right here. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. That's a, a really neat design. Yeah, and then these, these have uh, spurs of locking tuners on them because this trim also, you can also, you know, dive bomb on it as an active tremolo, so you got to have some kind of locking system sure, on With that. the piezo, so you have a lot of sonic options. Yeah, and then, too, we have a Graph Tech uh, saddle on here, too, which allows the strings to flow, you know, through there without bonding up on there and going out of tune and breaking strings and stuff like that. Sure, good call. And again, Seymour Duncan's loaded with... JB's. JB neck and a JB bridge. All right. And then here we have... Uh, a WI-90B. This is the top of the line uh, WI that we offer. You see here it has the fully multi-bound uh, body, neck and headstock. This is uh, ebony fretboard with mother of pearl block inlays. Again, locking tone pros. Again, tone pros and groomover tuners. And uh, you got the three-way pickup selector. And these are also coil tappable. So you got a full range of sounds you can get out of this guitar right here. Sure. So uh, you can split the humbuckers. And what kind of hums come in this? 59 in the neck and a TB11 in the bridge. Okay. And the TB11 is which pickup? A trim bucker. A trim bucker. Yeah. Backside? Uh, yeah. And the backside, too, you see we have the blended neck heel on there also. So you can get on the access to those high frets. Yeah, that, that's great. Yeah, uh, and, buzz, then, and you mentioned the Buzz Feet and Tuning, yeah, tuning all, System. Yeah, all Washburn guitars have Buzz Feet and Tuning System. And then, too, you see we have a very tight tolerance on our back plate covers and things of that nature. So, like a lot of other companies, looks kind of sloppy there. We kind of take the, a little bit extra time in making sure that the final product is, you know, what it should be. Everything's top shelf and right. tight. Well, hey, Eric, thanks so much for giving us the inside look. I'm Brett. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.